Hello, and welcome back to The Path. My guest today is Del Hambi Sensei. Hambi Sensei is a Swiss karateka now living in Okinawa. In this episode, we talk about his transition from Shotokan karate into Weichiru, and then his move to training Rukyo Kobro. Hambi Sensei has an infectious love of Okinawan karate and, and Okinawan culture. Hanbi Sensei now goes around the world teaching Weichiru and Kobura with his respective teachers. I hope that you enjoy this interview as much as I did conducting it. So without further ado, let's get into the interview. Okay, today my okay. guest is uh, Dale Hanby, and uh, thank you for coming on the program. Thank you for having me today. Nice uh, to be. If For people who don't know you, maybe mm. you could uh, give us a background of your uh, training. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm uh, from Basel, Switzerland. So uh, my training started basically uh, in Basel at the local Shotokan uh, dojo, uh, being not so much uh, traditional Okinawan karate in Europe or in especially in Switzerland. So I began there in 1988, my first uh, uh, training in the Shotokan uh, dojo there, and uh, worked up to maybe Nidan Sandan with a um, the trainer who was being he was uh, from from Paris but living in, in Switzerland in Basel. So after about eight years, then I made my first trip to Okinawa, kind of basically to get back to the roots, so to say. And uh, uh, as the hotel was located in the Chatan area, that was um, my first contact was with the Uechiryu dojos in that area. So I began training at the Chatan dojo in 1996. And I was staying there most of my training career until about two and a half years ago when I changed to Seneca Sensei's uh, Kensei Kai. And then after about two years coming to Okinawa, then uh, through Izumi Sensei, who was with Okiku Kai, and a student of Eisuke Sensei in the Hombu Dojo and Ryuku uh, Kobodo Hosun Shinko Kai, which is now Shinbukan, uh, got involved in uh, Kobodo also. So that's uh, basically uh, not quite 25 years, but getting pretty close to 25 years with the Association of Okinawa and over 30 years of, of um, karate, yes. So the yearly training in uh, Shotokan, mm. uh, what would that typical class look like in uh, Shotokan? Mm. The typical training, which was about uh, one and a half hours, two times a week we're doing at that time, uh, we'd start up with uh, like a warm-up session, stretching, that type of thing, some calisthenics, uh, push-ups, that type of thing. Then we'd get into the kihon, doing maybe a hundred uh, tsukis, a hundred keris, type of thing. And then uh, we'd get to do our kata system, the, the heian, <clears throat> all the way up through the high level to the kata. And then always a good dosage of kumite at, at, at the end. So the last, uh, basically dividing it into three or four equal parts and it was usually the training was uh, always in that 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 manner starting with the warm-up going in through kihon kata with kumite at the end basically yes. so that you decided to try to get to the roots of karate <coughs> um, and you alluded to it but uh, that the hotel was in Chatan and that's where the majority of the way you do exactly are. yes yes um, did you give any thought to what kind of system you were going to try when you came to Okinawa or you just went mm -hmm. and do find any dojo you could? Or? Right. Well, that was the thing coming because I, I was doing a little back research, but not so much because at those days, you know, online you weren't, so the connectivity was not so as, 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 as present presently. So I thought, no, I'm going to be open and just go and see because I, I didn't want to, I wanted to come with an open mind, not thinking, well, I want to see Gojiryu. I didn't even know about it. I, I picked up a couple of books, one with uh, Higone Sensei on it and I just checking a little bit about the background and Uechiru, I didn't find anything. Of course, it wasn't very well until I got here. So as it turned out, Ume or fate, so landing up in a hotel, the old Kanko Hotel, and which is not there anymore anyway. So it was in Chattan. So I was just walking around looking for dojos till I saw a flyer on the pole at uh, Gate 2 Street, Gate to Dori, and uh, it was an uh, advertisement, advertisement uh, uh, about Uechiru. So I called up the, the, the local sensei who was, because it was in English at the time, I didn't know any word of Japanese. So that's the, the way it got started. So I 
if it would have been maybe Naha, I would have gotten into Shorendryu, maybe Goji or whatever, so on the Tomarite, whatever. But as that turned out, fate has it, uh, Weichiryu, yes. I was wondering, because uh, I think a uh, natural transition from Shotokan would be into a Shorin system. That something. would have, yeah, probably would have been easier if I would have, I always thought many times, if I would have met, uh, been in the beginning with Shorin, uh, with Akamini Sensei doing his Mukenkai, I would have probably wouldn't have done his Karate. So I started with the Weichiryu and then getting into his Kobodo later, but it would have probably been a lot easier <laughs> doing doing both at, the, at that time. Yes, yeah, the <coughs> are very similar. Very similar, very yeah. similar, very similar, yes. yes. So, uh, another question that I kind of, uh, why did you uh, choose a hotel in Chitam? Okay, well I didn't, actually what happened is at that booking agency, Nichi Doko, that was in Germany, because at the time there was, we, <clears throat> was connecting about getting flights and hotels, and that was just a hotel that, uh, uh, that, uh, that was, uh, was, I guess, through to the booking agency, yes, it was, uh, through the booking agency because I didn't know anything about Okinawa and really nothing about Japan so the flight which was, was Zeniku and at that time plus uh, the hotel was just happened to be there uh -huh. so coming into the landing in Naha and then getting a taxi which was at that time 5,000 yen to get to the to Chatan because I didn't wow I thought we're never going to get to the hotel <laughs> trying to communicate with the driver at the time and not understand Moskoshi Moskoshi I don't know what, what was he saying so anyways landed up in, in at, the, at, the, at the hotel which is the plaza center, the, the shopping center. Oh, okay. Center. Yes. Okay, so uh, mm. let's talk about your early uh, Weichiru uh, sure. training. Uh, who did you start training with? Who was the sensei? And yeah, it was well, from, <clears throat> from the beginning, as I met uh, Gordy Biret sensei, who was part of the uh, Chattan Dojo on the Takimiyagi Shigeru sensei. So that was the, from the very beginning, part of that, uh, which was one of the biggest dojos. And because uh, Takimiyagi sensei being an English professor, and perfectly fluent in English. We foreigners, the Gaijin, were basically landing at his dojo because of his English prowess, of his English capacity. So, And uh, it was the closest there around to where we were staying also at the, uh, the old Kenchu Kaikan, which was in Hambi Town, my old village, uh, but no, no relationship. I thought that was cool <laughs> being from Hambi Town. It was easy for the people to remember my name. Uh, so, oh boy, you see, to Hambi Town. So, so anyway, <laughs> the... Uh, from the beginning, basically uh, affiliated training in other dojos or with other sensei, Nakodo sensei or uh, with uh, Okama sensei or uh, Yamashiro sensei in his dojo and Okinawa Shi, but um, basically with uh, uh, Takemagi sensei at the Chatan dojo, remember, over 15, 16 years basically, yes. Are the uh, Weichiru people kind of open for people going around to different Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <clears throat> One of my students was just here, uh, Sylvia, from uh, Switzerland, and she was... <clears throat> Um, basically training as most of the foreigners do now because of Yamashiro sensei's uh, English uh, uh, capacities also but uh, he's doing also that the students uh, are going around to various okikukai dojos to get experience from the various uh, sensei there also yes they're quite quite an open policy yes to letting the students see what's what's available yes so maybe let's talk a little bit about the the differences that you found between when you made the transition from Shotokan to Weichiru. Mm. What did you find that uh, <laughs> the different? One <laughs> kotekitai, <laughs> <Well, laughs> just just the hardness. I mean, we were in the Shotokan. It was always the sundome, and you know, and and, and you know, not hurting your, uh, your 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 partner. But after coming to Okinawa, I think the first time we got back, I said, "Look, this is the way you do the techniques there." They, wow, wow, itai, itai. They, was, they, was, they started complaining from day one. It was just too hard. So, oh, I love this stuff. I mean, if you're gonna do karate, I mean, you do it. Otherwise, you do aerobics or, or um, dance or whatever. But uh, the the just the, the hardness of the training and just putting this. All of the technique into basically eight, nine concise, doing the, not so many katas, which are so many, of course, in the in in the in the Shurin K system. So I was very impressed. Which is basically the the hardness of, of the style, the hardness of the style, and these open hand techniques and uh, just this, this this body condition. I fell in love with it from the beginning. And so I was going to chat and dojo, and it, it, we do five or six sanchin kitai every evening. And oh, okay, so. 
soaking it up like a sponge, going back to Switzerland, doing that, and losing students coming into the dojo. So you have to <coughs> maybe adapt a little bit. But uh, just that uh, the training was was just a world apart from what it was used to in Switzerland. So the uh, body conditioning, which mm. which you do, is quite famous for. Quite right? famous for. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's, it's in terms of like um, like just exercise, mm. was it a similar sort of uh, pace or? Um, as far as the training, yeah, it was uh, also in Chatan Dojo. I mean, because I was in the beginning always coming during the summer, so of course, so you get this this incredible heat. So the pace of the training, I mean, my god, we're trying to sneak off getting to the water cooler as much as possible there. So it was uh, you, you, you were drenched, the ghee was drenched after 10 minutes. So it was a very intense schedule. And <clears throat> what I liked also about the Chatan Dojo was a very big. Emphasis on 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 kumite also on a lot of the um, okikai the championships <coughs> uh, was coming out of the chatan dojo so this the hardness the pace of the dojo uh, of the training was very 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 intense very intense so you felt really you you felt the training afterwards especially the hardness of the kotakitai the the, 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 the sanchin kitai was quite, quite 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 hard quite famous. There was the Americans com coming in these years. Oh, you're going to go downtown and get get popped tonight. That type of thing. Yes, yes. Go to Chata. I know the meaning. They're going to Chata Dojo. Yes, but talking about this and the Yamashiro Danji. They're famous for their for their sound scenes. Yes. Mm. Uh, mm. What does a typical Weichiru class consist of? Like, uh, I've only done, I've did, done some seminars with uh, Kyohide Shinjo. But, ah, Shinjo Sensei. Yeah. Yes, yes. But I've not done a proper mm. class mm. or anything like that. One, if I really, basically you have your 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 jumbiyondo, your warming up, which is the 14, 13, 14 basic exercises to warm up. Then of course doing your basics, your kyo and your hojuondo. Then you usually get into cut into sanchin, uh, the sanchin kitai, getting into the kata and kumite. That's basically the setup, which is most. Uh, most dojos follow. Some sensei may put a little bit more emphasis on the kumite, some more on the kata, but the warming up, the jumbiondo and the hojuondo doing the, the kion, everyone's doing that basically. So dojo niyotoi, depending on the dojo, emphasis more on the on the on the on the kata. Some do more on the on the kumite, but yes. Yeah, so. But the hardening, the kitai, everyone that's 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 kind of the staple domain, as you as you were just saying before. That's that's our trademark, or that's the way to trademark is the hardness, the the hardening. So that's always a part of the of the, of the training is doing the kitai. Yes. Uh, in terms of um, chishi and makiwara and things, mm. do you, is that a big emphasis in the uh, dojo as well? Or? Yes, we have the nichokama carrying the jugs, of course, you know, because we're working in this kamaru. And so chishi we don't use, but and uh, makiwara a lot of maki a lot of makiwara are uh, bite, not German here today, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, doing the uh, training the the, the the fist and also the boshken and and the sokuzen, so a lot of lot lot of makiwara. Do you do that in the class, or is that something you're supposed to do on your own? Or? Oh, do both, of course. During yeah. during the training, and also because oh, you know all dojo, most dojo have the makiwara in the. In the, in the dojo area, like we have in in Chimbukan. so do a lot of uh, my own training doing the uh, makiwara also. Yes. Uh, so let's. So your dojo in Chatan. Mm. How, how did you get involved with uh, Kobudo? Mm. Um, I was interested. Got interested in doing the Kobudo after coming up my second year, Tokinawa. So. Uh, I think the first time I was uh, found was just go going on the bike looking for a place close and found something maybe if through a news or a flyer or a pamphlet or something which is laying around in the Kenshu Kaikan about Hokama Sensei's Nishihara Dojo. So one day I just showed up there, I thought it was close, I ended up, it was almost a one and a half hour bike ride from the Kenshu Kaikan. So I ended up uh, in a class of his and started after about a week or two uh, just doing some training at his dojo, Kobodo. But he's because he's doing um, Gojiryo. So <clears throat> then um, I mentioned that one evening at the training to Takamagi Sensei in his office before training. He says, Oh, you're interested in Kobodo? Yes, yes, Sensei. I don't know. I said, oh, you should then I'll introduce you to, uh, to Izumi Sensei. Izumi Sensei was training basically at the Koza Dojo, 
with the Onamini Sensei, who was also a student, Keisuke, um, a student of, of, of uh, Keisuke Sensei in the uh, Hombu Dojo. So he introduced me to Iju Izumi Sensei, Shigeru, uh, Shigyo Izumi Sensei, and at that time Izumi Sensei was a Kyoshi Narada, a student of Keisuke Sensei. So he started coming down to the Kenshu Kaikan in Hanbi Town and, and teaching me the Kobodo and after two or three weeks, as I was usually coming for a six week period at the because of our school vacation in Switzerland. So after getting the basics and he started taking me the first time down to the to the dojo. That was bait that was the first that was I think Eiske Sensei had just recently passed away, so unfortunately I never got to meet Eiske Sensei. So I got started working right right uh, right away with uh, Hiroshi Sensei, Abman Hiroshi Sensei and, and Kunyoshi Sensei and the, the Sensei who at the Dojo the, uh, at the Dojo in Hombo. So it was actually through <coughs> Izumi Sensei who unfortunately passed away in 2001, I think about two or three years later, passed away. But thank, thank, thank him, thanks to him, I got involved in the, in the now the Shinbukan, the Ryukuku Ryuku Kubo organization to welcome any sensei. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Amara, which kind of Kobodo does uh, Okama Sensei do? Okam, Okama Sensei is <clears throat> maybe doing jikori a little bit its own things too but it's more okinawa kobo the more matiyoshi style in that in that style oh, that's right because yes. there's that connection between uh seiko higa and uh, yes exactly yes yes okay that makes sense to me so uh, did you find the kobo much different than hokama sensei absolutely yes yeah. because the especially is the the emphasis using when i started seeing how uh, the, the hip, the, the, the hip uses usage of the hip because coming for the Shorin K was very impressed. The, just the generation, the power, and the speed through the through the hip movement, the Kobudo holding the bow, the weapons on the inside instead of the outside. So it was uh, yes, I, I fell in love with it completely. Same thing when I saw Oichiro the first time. I said, oh yes, that's that's it. So that's uh, started that and didn't change and didn't do any other style of that. So so. Uh, yeah. How do you think that uh, Kobudo uh, helps your karate training or vice versa? Mm. That was one of the first things that Izumi Sensei said to me. Says, uh, you start doing Kobudo to improve your karate. You see through the hip moves, through the through the, the, the relaxation aspect too, because you know which is very hard. Sure, and we're very relaxed. So the, this this juxtaposition of doing both, I found, helped my karate immensely. But I got to the point. In, in the dojo, you know, Hambi, you're using ah, koshi yari sugi. You're using too much hip, too much hip. That's, you're doing too much kobo sometimes. Sorry, but I, it keeps relaxed. I like getting the hip in, into it. So <clears throat> uh, that was the beginning. But then I fell in love absolutely with kobodo. So now people ask sometimes, well, what do you prefer doing, kobodo or karate? So to be politically correct, I say both. But maybe I really love. I think because I. Kobudo, I'm doing a lot of teaching going around with Akimini Sensei sometimes, um, myself doing that. So I think if I have to, this is Kobudo and this is Karate maybe, I, but I love both. But I, I really, as it began for the, to improve the Karate, but I just fell in love with Kobudo afterwards. And I really, that's something I really in, enjoy, I think, the most is doing the Kobudo. Working with the weapons, extending the body, but it definitely does. Oh, absolutely. That's why... Doing the seminars, the emphasis also, okay, if you're not interested in Kobudo, fine, but try a little bit just to improve your karate. Most people see, see that for themselves the, the difference afterwards, absolutely. And did uh, doing what you do uh, help your uh, Kobudo, did you find? Or? That's a good question because I see it actually the, the, the other way around, you know, but... Uh, I think maybe because it's very I, I like the hardness getting into the kobodo also getting but I, I think so too yes if, if I think about the other way around vice versa that's I, I think it does help doing doing both I think so what does a typical kobodo lesson look like for you okay and then in in Shinbukan, the Hombu Dojo basically starting up with a short warm up, stretching using using the bow or stretching the wrists, using the side, etc. Then Kihon, Kihon, Kihon. That's the basics. It's very, put a lot of emphasis. So, kata is also done too, but the main emphasis, what I love about uh, our style in Shinbukan and Akimeni Sensei's teaching, was the emphasis on his Kihon. 
because as we know without getting your key on sharp your cut is just not going to be that sharp so and that's I in, integrated in my uh, way of teaching also it's just a uh, very big emphasis with the uh, Kobodo is just uh, the key on so after a short warm-up period short stretching maybe 10 minutes getting right into the to the key on and then the cut afterwards yes so there's for people who don't know there's mm. uh, I guess there are little snippets of kata that you just repeat over and over for the kihon, right? Is yes, right? yes, 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 yes. So yes. you do each weapon? Yes, we do. Uh, uh, for example, we're doing... So you start basically with, with the bow and, and the sai, nunchuk and teiko, those basic for the start. That's to use the the the, 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 the stances, the koshiundo, the, the hip movements through those. And then afterwards, then you get into uh, the, the, the tonfa, the timbe, rochin, kama, Eiku afterwards. So you're doing basically 10, 11, 12, basically 10 weapons that you <clears throat> concentrate on, yes. And bow, I think, is the sort of, the sort of standard one. That's that the main. Bow is the main. So we have, there's basically, if you integrate uh, now the, the Kion Kata of Akimini Sensei, there's about 15 bow kata that I practice. So, so assiduously always keeping those going in the through the key on and up to the yudansha the high level bow cuts so bow is always the main be, being the most difficult weapon too it's the so, most boring sort of yes thing. yes it is that's that's the, that's the most because of this length and keeping it to the body it's it's a it's a, it takes your whole life it's a, it's a <laughs> lifelong endeavor just to just when you think you're getting to you know, oh it's back to the drawing board back to square one so it's a it's a phenomenal i love it. it's my favorite weapon besides something just cut off so uh, it's probably a half hour okay i, I didn't know if they had this uh, problem with uh... anything you want to cut or repeat or just getting a scratchy voice sometimes was... yeah, I guess okay so you're questioning it, yes. Uh, so uh, we were just talking about uh, mm. your uh, bow mm. kata. Right. But uh, I got this one, so it be, won't be a problem. I just won't use that part for your... Okay, uh, okay, okay. I won't cut to your face at that okay. point. Uh, so how long and how often are the classes at the Kobudo? Okay. Kobudo uh, are now two times a week. Two hours, eight to ten. Uh, that's the the training. But um, well, since I live in Dojo now, I, I can train every day. I, I train every day. I have a morning session, afternoon session with the Kobudo. Sometimes also karate. But the the the, the classes are two times a week with Akamani's when she comes in. But we have a lot of since the organization is getting quite big, the Shibukan, a lot of foreign students coming in also from mainland basically every week we have students so do a lot of teaching coming in the our morning sessions the 10 to 12 maybe once two times sometimes it's every day so it's uh, but the the usual where everyone's coming to class that's a, a two a week a two times a week two hour session on on monday and and thursday and nakamani sensei does his uh, karate the muken kai is short in k training on tuesday and friday so he's in dojo for four nights a week also so it's uh, Quite, quite a busy schedule also with the foreign students coming in for for uh, extra tutelages so maybe we'll go back and talk a little bit about uh, what you do sure so you're training in Chitan yeah. and then well the uh, Akamine Dojo is in Tomishiro which is right. quite far away yes so how, how did that uh, work for you <laughs> well quite well to be uh, after missing the uh, the <laughs> Saishu bus and then, and then cutting training short to get to the terminal to catch the last bus back to Chatham. So uh, Akimani Sensei uh, is a very good friend with uh, Seneca Sensei with, of Kensei Kai and was in Ghana. So the dojo is about a 10-12 minute bike ride from Hombu Dojo from Shimpo Country. So oh, if you want to introduce you someday to uh, if you want it's very close and you can go to his training. So and make a long story short I went to a training and, and of Seneca uh, Yoshisa Sunni Sensei and uh, was very impressed with the, the old dojo, the old, just the antiquity of the feeling, the old pictures and his style of training and it being very convenient instead of having to go with the bus one and a half hour on the way I could take the bike and be up in the training in 10 minutes so I was 
never late, basically. So being Swiss, we're very punctual. So it was just out of a matter of convenience and then just fell in love with his first age. He's just a great, just a fantastic human being and just an absolute phenomenal uh, Dendo Tekina, traditional Okin Okinawan uh, Uechiru master. So I became a member of Kensei Kai after over 20 years, 22 years old Kiku Kai uh, last so I've been training with him over two years and became a member of the Kensei Kai uh, last November, November 2018. So was there much difference between the uh, two what you do organizations? Uh, well, Kensei Kai is much smaller. So in the training, sometimes we're, it's a man-to-man -man training, or just uh, sometimes only two or three people. So it's, you get much more person-to-person -person training because we get that also as on Okikukai, but it's, it's a very large organization. So the dojo sometimes are quite full. Sometimes we go to Chatan Dojo, you'd have uh, in the dojo try to get 20 or 30 black belts crammed into the dojo, which is a fa fantastic training too, but it's a different type of training if you're training with 30 people or if you're training with two or three people or sometimes, many times. And like last night, it was just, it was just Seneca Sensei just to two people basically so it's uh, he gives a lot more personal attention absolutely right? absolutely but you sweat a lot more too because he sees i mean he'll be 82 <laughs> this year but oh he sees everything and those eyes are what she know he sees the uh, eagle eyes he sees, he sees everything yes. yeah. is there much difference in the uh, f focus on the training like what he thinks is important well, yes, uh, um, like I said, we're talking about initially in, 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 in the discussion, every sensei has their own kind of, kind of the, their modus operandi, the way of doing, which is fine. Uh, Seneca sensei, his training is set up basically each time the same. That's what I like about it. It's very similar to what we do in the Shimbukan organization. That means you have your, 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 your emphasis on kihon, kihon. We go through each kata, all kata. Of course, there's only not that many kata in Noichi. So, get a chance we cover all kata with the bunkai, the oyo. And that's done in each training. So, you really get your technique. It's very sharp, as you know, just that much kihon. Okay? There's nothing omitted. It's each training is covering basically the same thing. Some people always say, no, it's not boring. Just the, we say in German, the gegenteil. And it's just the opposite. You, you, if you see a students too, they, they win the kata tournaments in the recent end because it's just it's just so sharp, it's just so sharp. Shokan, one of the, the the girls, she's won championships four or five times. Sometimes even competing against other ryuha with the kata much lengthy. I mean, doing the, her sanseri or whatever, she will still win the uh, the the um, competitions because it's just uh, it's just so so the precision is just phenomenal. It's, his way of teaching, I think, yes. And then you're not uh, <clears throat> practicing for the tournament, you're just practicing what you do all the time. The yeah, tournament. exactly. You yeah. just do what you're used to doing, which I think the way it should be. You know, just brushing up just for the tournament, changing something there. It's, it's his eye for details is it's phenomenal. And the old way, the way he learned from, because he was also uh, with Kanei Sensei and also with with Seiyu, also with uh, Shinjo Kiyori's father training. So, I mean, he, he gets back to the roots, to his training also with uh, Mateo Shishimpo uh, doing Kobodo. So, he, he, he's back to the roots, yes. Very long, very long uh, training. Seneca Sensei. So, uh, how long and how often do you go to that dojo? I go to Seneca Sensei two times a week, Wednesday, Friday, because Wednesday is day off in the Shimbukan dojo. So, and Friday they have karate training. So since I don't do, I do on Tuesday night. Since also the Mukan Kai because I pick up so much in relationship to the Kobodo through his karate practice, the relaxation and the hip movement. So I do his class on Tuesday. But it, as it works out with the schedule, I can do the Monday and Thursday class the Kobodo anyway. Tuesday his karate, and then I do Wednesday and Friday in Seneca Sensei's. Uh, his usual schedule, scheduled uh, uh, training session. That's fortunate because most of the uh, other dojos are always the same nights. And there you go. That's <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. yes, yes. So uh, maybe let's talk a little bit about uh, training on Okinawa. Sure. Do you, would you have any uh, recommendations for people who are coming here, how to do it? or? 
You mean as far as getting the connections necessary? You have the, you know, the... Or Anything that you think might, they might not think about before they come? Mm, mm. Uh, yes, above all, absolutely come. It will change your whole outlook for training. I mean, if, if, uh, if you get it, anyone out there in... in um, I was going to say podcast, but it's a, a television, YouTube land. If you get it listening, please do come to Okinawa. It's the, the training, the, the people, just the atmosphere, just uh, going in, smelling the awamori, the soba, just uh, hearing the shamisen and, and, and just walking down Kokusai door. It, it's all part of the training. And just the, the moment you walk into the dojo, it's, a, it's like a satori. It's an enlightenment. I mean, just, so it's, it's absolutely worth the time, the effort, the money to come. Unfortunately, be aware once you come once, the bug bites, you get infected, as we know, you've been here a long time too. And you always, as soon as most people, almost everyone, as soon as they come, they start planning the next trip even before they get back home. So it's uh, absolutely a, just a phenomenal, sensational experience to come to train here. It's also not so hard as people think, you know, getting connections. I mean, there's some people who do that, some of the... Uh, we can mention names if you want or whatever, but it's, Miguel Blues, uh, yeah, it's Miguel, them. James, you know, the dojo bar, this, but uh, a lot of things uh, can be done. Agisho, the Kenny, my, my friend and, and the company there, they're set up to the, take care from one person to a hundred people group. So it's, it's really easy. I mean, even if there's without uh, speaking a word of Japanese, you can come here. Most of the people in Okinawa are speaking English because of the, the American affiliation with the, with the Kichi, with the, with the, with the basis, the type of thing, and then there's such wonderful people here as we as, as we both know. So it's uh, it's it's uh, very, I think, uh, natural and easy situation to come even for the first time and get right into training. The dojo is uh, 99% of the all sensei are so open to the foreigners coming. Uh, percent of the foreigners coming in. I don't think there are that many who are kind of anti gaijin or whatever. But uh, I think it's a uh, very easy situation to come in and start training here, yes. I always have a hard time explaining, there's certain exceptions, but like mm. the level of kata is just something that most people pro probably don't even understand. Exactly. Could be achieved. Yes, yes, yes. There, yes. there are pockets of people abroad that are at mm. that kind of level, but uh, there's, uh, I think most people don't realize how much better it can actually get. <laughs> That's the thing, you know. I, I remember coming the first time and, and going, the first time I walked into Chatan Dojo and see that training down there with the, wow, it's a wow, so thinking, what am I doing in Switzerland? What are we doing over there? And the people, you like, uh, I think we were discuss, discussing it before, you think you're doing, but you don't know until you've seen it. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's such an eye opener and, and, and seeing it for the first time and also doing, refereeing the tournaments in the, recently in the, in the, in, in the Futenma, the Uichiru tournaments or the Sekai Taka, you just see the level here. Also, of the kids, these these primary school kids doing already super and pay in these. Kind of, wow, it, it's just kind of it's, you, you're blown away. Just the whole thing on this small little island, this level of karate, which the people achieve and can be achieved even from the foreigners coming in with the open mind to 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 learn what's what's available here. It's uh, it's a, it's a game changer completely, yes. The, uh, <clears throat> so for most people, they can come for three months at a time on mm. a tourist visa for yes. most countries. Yes, Certainly yes. Europe and North America. Yes, yes, that's easier. Yes. Uh, is there any other kinds of ways to uh, get, get to stay for a longer length of time or get to stay at all? Like sure. Well, what, what I'm using now, uh, very comfortably, thanks to Akamini Sensei, his, his support also, is the, the, the Bunka visa, this, uh, the culture visa, which is um, uh, renewable after one year. So I'm use, I've renewed it now two times, so I um, will probably be using it as much as possible because I want to stay here as long as possible through training and, and, and helping, assisting his, his his expansion of the Shimbukan and also now with Senega Sensei with the Kensei Kai uh, doing seminars worldwide. So the uh, there's like work visa, uh, but uh, with the with the Bunka with the culture visa, no work allowed. But thankfully, being Swiss, I don't have to. I have a nice arrangement through the uh, retirement. So that's that's uh, quite quite comfortable. So just being able to renew that each year. 
and through uh, the help of Akimini Sensei, uh, through when we go to immigration and, and forms, it's only two two pages. It's very 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 easy to do it. So and, and uh, so it's basically the I think the easiest way is doing the the the, the culture visa. You can sado or or kudo any type of Japanese culture activity because you, you can Ikiwana get that. Yes, it can make it any, anything, anything yeah. related to the language, the, the culture, of course, karate here, most people coming here, but uh, you can come here and study Japanese or Ikiban, of course. I mean, you probably go to mainland instead, but uh, or Kyoto, any, any, anything. Here. Mm. So, yes, that's, that's the easiest way. That's very convenient and very, Absolutely. very easy to get, I think. Yes, yes, you'll the culture visa. Hmm, so, what should we talk about next? Is there anything you want to talk about, or oh, mm, just kind of a kind of a uh, maybe it's kind of chipping or just uh, I think Okinawa is is uh, of course you've been there much longer than me living permanently. It's just such a great place to live. The the atmosphere, the the climate, the 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 food, the people, just the uh, the atmosphere, just the feeling of of being able to live here is fantastic and. But also being around all of these senseis and becoming friends with and going drinking with uh, with Shinjo Kiyori sensei or with uh, uh, Hirona sensei who's very good friends with Akamani sensei. Akamani sensei has a very good relation, working relationship with so many sensei and he's introduced me thanks to him through so many of the sensei who become friends, Akagawa sensei and all of these people. We went to Europe and going in the caravan to promotion of the World Tournament last year and just being around these people and, and, and also with like Seneca Sensei, it's like an, a lexicon, an encyclopedia on two legs. I mean, and it's this memory, what he has up here, that's why it's so important to get people like this documented, like you're doing yourself and Chris Wilson and, and, and James, these people who are here helping to promote what's uh, on island for this, this wealth of knowledge. And it's just a fascinating place just to be able to come here, even if it's just for a short stay or a long stay. Just to be able to to be associated with these people is just such a fantastic experience, which is irreplaceable. So it's uh, like we were saying before. If you get a chance, definitely come to Okinawa. The food's good, the climate's good, pretty girls. I mean, it's it's it's, it's a beautiful place. Oh, sorry, just for the single guys. The wives is coming. It's nice too, but it's uh, just a just a fantastic place. The kids can walk around on the beach. Have to worry about where's Junior, where's Jan. It's, it's just a it's, it's, it's um, kind of like a paradise, isn't it? I think so, yes. When I lived in Canada, I mm. would uh, read all any any book about karate I could get my hands on or martial right, arts. Sure. But now I don't read any books because I have five tenth dance who are friends of mine. That I could just, like, <laughs> yes, yes, <and> talk, yes. <laughs> just go ask them a question. Go, go so, have a have a, have a orian, have a have a nama, and a, and to spin the. That's, yeah, that's it. I, I know what you say. What karate books? I don't have any online. No, just go talk with sensei, talk with Seneca sensei, or with, with uh, Akamene sensei. That's that's the history. You boom, boom, boom. It's, it's it's they have everything here. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, so, do you have any uh, upcoming? I'm not sure when I'll be releasing this, but do you have sure. any upcoming like? Uh, Places that you'll be going with uh, Akamini Sensei? Yes, yes, uh, that's okay. We're uh, now we're at the end of just, oh, the, today is the last day of February, so it's a, yeah, we have a very, very uh, active schedule together. I, well, with Akamini Sensei, he goes abroad uh, about maybe six times a year. And I'm, as it's turned out now, since I've been almost, almost, I'm going almost every month abroad. So is it just because the, the organization is expanding quite a bit. And since we're doing more seminars and posting little clips up on Facebook or the videos on YouTube, etc., it's, it's drawing much more interest. So we're getting a lot more of uh, invitations and a lot of more, just a lot of people coming into the seminar. So we're going, uh, I was just recently in Singapore myself, we go uh, the week after next to, to uh, Italy together for the second or third time. And on the, just on this, this year's schedule with Italy, uh, we were just in Australia and, and, and uh, New Zealand in January. We have Greece, Germany, Russia. Uh, he's, Sunday we'll be going to Minnesota, to America also. We have Vienna, uh, Austria also this year and uh, so Qu quite quite a busy schedule and so from last year too basically yes. 
So is there a place uh, online that people can uh, find out that information? Or? Yes, yes, okay, we have, uh, there, there's an official homepage for the uh, Shimbukam, uh, but uh, we have a, sorry if I promote my, my Facebook page, I, it's, I'm, I, I post their daily video clips or what's going on with their also Sensei's Facebook page, the Ryukyu Kobodo Shimbukan Facebook page, that's all posted, it's posted, updated, I'm updating basically daily, what's going, just pictures, video clips, what's going on basically in the Shibukan or the Kensei Kai now, so yes, we have uh, also Senega Sensei will be doing a, his first time ever uh, uh, European seminar this uh, August 2019, coming up in um, well, Rheinfelden near Basel, Switzerland, so already getting a lot of interest from around the world, people coming in from around the world for that to Switzerland, so yes, v very busy, we're quite, quite busy expanding this great culture going abroad, yes. So I'll get that information, those links and stuff, sure, and I'll just you, I'll yeah. put them in the description okay, of fantastic. the fantastic, thank you, yes, yes. So people, if they're interested, they can contact Absolutely. you. Absolutely, know? please come, please come, please come, yes. So what are we at now? So 40, 40? 40 minutes? Yes. Yeah. What else could we talk about? Do you have a dojo in uh, your own dojo? Yes, I. Um, when I tested into the OHU organization, the Chachan Dojo, and, got, and received my shodan and Shiduin. I uh, was asked to, to, of course, open a dojo, and so that was in 1998, was the, the first Shibu Okikukai Shibu Dojo in Switzerland, was in 98, yes. So that dojo I maintained up until I came to Okinawa, living permanently now for almost, uh, almost this summer will be three years. Uh, and, but it's the, the dojo is now not in the same place, but my student who was here re recently took over the. She's running the dojo now, oh, okay. so it's still maintained the 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 Okikukai Shibu. I'm not part of the organization, but she still is and still running the official Okikukai dojo. So I'm promoting Oichiru, but through another organization, the Seneca Sensei. But uh, there's still a dojo in the Basel area. Yes, yes. Also uh, Shimbukan. She's a Shimbukan member, and uh, she's oh. doing Kobodo and Karate. There. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Still promoting that. So is, does she have an online presence as well? Or? Yes, she does. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, I'll, yes, get yes. That, I'll get, get that the link there also too. Yes, please. So, what do you uh, enjoy doing in Okinawa besides karate? <laughs> uh, going to Koksaidori and uh, having like uh, just going out for for lunch, meeting my girlfriend, having coffee at Starbucks, and kind of a, kind of a daily uh, attachment to that place there. Not just. Uh, enjoying just the lifestyle and, and, and promoting uh, online as much as possible writing getting a lot of uh, questions daily about anything about training about expansion of the style about becoming membership of the of our organization so it's basically all i don't do too much sightseeing in okinawa i, I know the island well but as far as sightseeing i don't go to the beach and lay out and get a suntan i'll probably get burned but uh, uh, spend most of my time with the dojo affiliated type of type, type of things. Yes. What would you? Is there any sort of uh, words of caution that you would have for someone coming? Because it is a different culture, but they're quite forgiving, I find. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if possible, it's very helpful. It's a, get a little bit of Japanese in the beginning if you can. It's uh, like I said, most people speak English, but uh, it's sometimes quite limited. Especially in mainland, I mean, you find more people in Okinawa because of the relationship with the with the with the with the, with the, with the military, of course, the basis. But uh, if possible, pick up a, a few uh, phrases, even if you can get some uchinaguchi, if you can get a little bit of uh, Okinawa dialect, because they love it. Just if you just say nivedebiru or something like some uh, akisamiyo, they love it. But uh, words of caution, I don't think so. It's uh, just a very very comfortable place, very safe place to to live uh, to to visit also and. Uh, not that expensive compared to mainland. It's more uh, uh, affordable on the wallet, I think. So it's uh, just come and have a good time and get to stay as long as you can to absorb as much of the training as possible. But uh, yeah, as, as far as words of warning, I can't really think of anything. Yeah. Be careful with the pretty girls if you're married too. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. They're beautiful. Sweet little things. Yes, yes. 
So is there anything about transitioning from um, maybe a different kind of martial arts system into Okinawan Karate or Kobudo? Mm, mm. Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, that's that's a good good point, James. The, I, th I think, because like I said, we're getting a lot of people coming from abroad, even from men, and they come down and, and they do the training and go back and some of them they, they, they change right away, some maybe later, some not at all. So I think um, coming here to train will have a very big influence, if not on your training initially, on your thought process. I mean, once you see the training here and the way it's trained and this level of training, it does start to kind of permeate into your soul and, and, and uh, start influencing. So at one point, I think uh, it does start, you start changing your training or through the influence. If you don't change, I mean, it's not like coming in as, as, as a shihan or renshi or kyoshi that you're going to put on a shirobi the next day and become a, a, a rokyu and start from the beginning. But some people do that. I did that myself. I came in with the, like I said, it was Nidan, Sandan, with Shotokan and, and put on the, the white belt with the weight and then started the next day, basically, and changed left. So you have some people do that too. Also, being kobodo, some people take what they like and go back, retain their styles. Some people don't change at all. So it's uh, I think quite 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 varied, probably. Yes. I never understood why that some people would come and not change anything, and then come back again. Yes, yes. Well, that, that that's remarkable. If if people I've seen without <laughs> mentioning names, some people who come into the dojo several times but you don't see the change although they're coming back and saying they're trying to adapt to the style which is <clears throat> i think a very good barometer that you see that people are going back and practicing what they should be practicing maybe even though if they want to adapt to the style so like you say if if, you, if you're not changing anything then you're kind of I mean, wasting why come the money the time and the effort to come i mean if if you're serious about learning and adapting or, or, or to, to to changing some things or at least trying it out or whatever uh, it's a, it's having an open mind is very very essential to coming i often thought it was someone <coughs> using the uh, connection to okinawa as a sort of marketing tool to oh you get absolutely i mean with a lot of people from some countries coming in they're coming oh can we do some training and send you oh very of course of course the training is spent shooting and going out and because we have Wi-Fi and they say, oh, there's something. So anyway, so you, you get that. Most most people are, are sweating their, well, let's leave the French out, <laughs> the area out, but uh, you will get the, 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 the tourists coming in just to promote their secrets of Okinawa books, which they've never even trained, actually a real training in Okinawa, just doing the photo ops. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for uh, coming today. Thank you for having me. It was, was a pleasure. Thank you very much.